This chap's as dead as a doornail and no mistake. If you'd like to know why he's as dead as a doornail and not just dead, follow me. This is the beautiful Monasterio de Santa Maria de las Cuevas, Monastery of Saint Maria of the Caves. Originally on an island formed by two branches of the river Guadalquivir near Seville, it's from here that Christopher Columbus planned his voyage to the Indies. The island had been the centre of Seville's pottery industry during the rule of the Moors. The rich clay of the island was perfect for the potter's craft. The many holes dug for ovens and clay produced numerous caves where the monastery now stands. When Ferdinand III recaptured the city from the Moors in 1248, a statue of the Virgin Mary was found hidden in one of the caves. A chapel was built on the place to house the venerated icon. The building we see today is the 15th century Franciscan monastery and later additions. From the 15th century until the Napoleonic invasion of Iberia, the monastery housed monks of the Carthusians, otherwise known as the Order of Saint Bruno. This order lives in charter houses, inside which monks live as hermits in cells. The Spanish for charter house is Cartuja, the original island is known locally as La Cartuja, the Charter House. In 1808, the invading French sacked the Charter House and used it as a military barracks until driven out in 1812. The monastery eventually closed in 1836. From 1840 until 1982, the site was used as a ceramic and porcelain factory. And what has all this got to do with the idiom, as dead as a doornail, you may well be asking? Well, I thought it was fascinating that after all these events, the front door still looks like the original. When I looked closer, I discovered why the door has lasted so long. It was made to last. Today we're all familiar with screws as a means of fastening pieces of wood together. In the 15th century, such screws didn't exist. In fact, metal screws didn't become widely used until after the 1760s. Nails were the only means of holding together a wooden construction, like a door. Nails were all handmade, too. They were of great value and would be salvaged and reused whenever possible. The broad round discs you can see across the front of the door are actually the heads of long iron nails. The nails are driven all the way through the wood that makes up the door. The only way to secure a door nail in the door was by clenching the nail end. Clenching means to hammer the pointed end of the nail over until it's tight against the inside of the door. The thickness of the nail made removing them from the wood virtually impossible. Such nails could never be reused for anything, even when the door was destroyed. They could never be brought back to life. They were dead. So we say of people or things that are dead, that they're as dead as a doornail. There are many other idioms in English that are built around the word door. Unless you're already at death's door, you can easily learn them. Learn them and doors could open up, once you've got your foot in the door. Idioms might bring success which will keep the wolf from the door. But at least when one door shuts, another one opens. Would you rather English idioms didn't darken your doorstep again? Perhaps you've shown them the door once and for all. This is like closing the stable door after the horse has bolted. 
If you don't learn these idioms, don't lay the blame at my door. Now I think I'll go to the park. It's on my doorstep. If you want to know how a park can be on my doorstep, and also learn, understand and use these idioms with confidence, open the door to my free interactivities. You'll find me waiting for you at linguaspectrum.com, waiting to deliver a memorable English lesson. You'll find a link under the video if you're watching this on YouTube. Otherwise, just go to linguaspectrum.com, become a member. It's free. I send members new English lessons every week. I look forward to seeing you soon. Goodbye for now.